Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Wednesday, October the 10th, and the scripture for this service, Psalms 128 and 129, Micah chapter 2, verse 1 to 13. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. O oh, blessed are you who fear the Most High and walk in God's ways. Alleluia. Psalms 128 and 129. O oh, blessed are you who fear the Most High and walk in God's ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat, and you will be happy and prosper. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house, your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Indeed, thus shall be blessed those who fear God. And may God bless you from Zion all the days of your life. May you see your children's children in a happy Jerusalem on Israel peace. They have pressed me hard for my youth, this is Israel's song. They oppressed me hard from my youth, but they could never destroy me. They plowed my back like plowmen, drawing long furrows. But you have destroyed the yoke of the wicked. Let them be shamed and routed, those who hate Zion. Let them be like grass on the roof that withers before it flowers, with which no reapers fill their arms, no binders make their sheaves. And those passing by will not say on you God's blessing. We bless you in the name of God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. O oh, blessed are you who fear the Most High and walk in God's ways. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Micah, chapter 2, beginning at verse 1. Alas for those who devise wickedness and evil deeds on their beds. When the morning dawns, they perform it because it is in their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses, and take them away. They oppress house, householder and house, people and their inheritance. And now, therefore, says Yahweh, now I am devising against this family an evil from which you cannot remove your necks, and you shall not walk haughtily, for it will be an evil time. On that day they shall take up a taunt against you, and wail with bitter lamentation, and say, We are utterly ruined. Yahweh alters the inheritance of my people, how he removes it from me. Among our captors he parcels out our fields, Therefore, you will have no one to cast the line by the lot in the assembly of Yahweh. Do not preach, thus they preach. One should not preach of such things. Disgrace will not overtake us. Should this be said, O house of Jacob, is Yahweh's patience exhausted? Are these his doings? Do not my words do good to one who walks uprightly? But you rise up against my people as an enemy. You strip the robe from the peaceful. And for those who pass by trustingly with no thought of war, the women of my people you drive out from their pleasant homes. From their young children you take away my glory forever. Rise and go, for this is no place of rest because of uncleanness that destroys with a grievous destruction. If someone were to go about uttering empty falsehoods, saying, I will preach to you of wine and strong drink. Such a one would be the preacher for this people. I will surely gather all of you, O Jacob. I will gather the survivors of Israel. I will set them together like a sheep in a fold, like a flock in a pasture. It will resound with people. The one who breaks out will go up before them. They will break through and pass the gate, going out by it and their king will pass on before them, Yahweh at their head. Here ends the lesson.
Now let us offer our prayers and petitions, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in your church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O God, we praise you in the gift of Jesus given to us for our salvation. Forgive us our sins and failings, and grant us the grace to change our lives and to let the life of Jesus bear fruit in us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.